Okay, so for our next video, I wanted to talk about kind of how atoms are, are the backbone of, of everything we see today. And the first uh, thing that I thought was really interesting and kind of funny is we're going to talk about a beard second. So we all know what a light year is. That's how far light uh, travels in, in a year. And that's about 6 trillion miles. But how long, how uh, far is a, a beard second? How, how much does a beard grow in a second? And that's actually what it is. If you take a person here, growing a beard, um, they're going to say he grows one centimeter in a month. And then that translates to 3.9 nanometers per second. So every second a, a man's beard theoretically in, in this situation is growing 3.9 nanometers, which uh, turns out to be about 10 carbon atoms long. And carbon is one of the, the main backbones of what hair is, is made out of. So basically, uh, a rough estimate is, is a beard is growing at about 10 atoms a second. But that doesn't really have any relevance to us. So let's blow things up quite a bit, although not that much uh, compared to how big we are. And that's going to be a grain of sand. So that grain of sand, we're going to blow it up, is one millimeter long. Um, so how many atoms are in that? And, and this is really astonishing. Uh, the sand is made up of silica, which is silicon and oxygen. So to figure out how many atoms there are, you have to use some some science and, and figure out how big the atoms are and how big the bonds are and how far apart they are. But it turns out that there's seven quintillion atoms inside, 78 quintillion atoms inside of one grain of sand, which is so, so big. That's a... Uh, So that's 7.8 raised to the 19, which is so big. So now let's talk about something that, that we're all familiar with. We know kind of exactly how big it is. And that's your average human being. Uh, so this can be the human, very happy man. Um, so how many atoms are, are in the human? And the human is going to be 7 raised to 27 atoms which is so big and something I thought was interesting is we couldn't really find anything to compare the strings to and how small they are and this is is getting there for the other end of the spectrum how big it is the string was uh, negative 35 uh, meters raised to negative 35 and this is raised to a high 20 so that's pretty close but anyway a human is actually so big and so many atoms that you might be surprised to find out that 9 billion grains of sand can fit inside your average human. Um, pretty amazing.